the LED efficiencies example here. So as we have seen in the previous videos how to calculate an efficiency internal quantum efficiency and external quantum efficiency. So that we are going to study with an examples here. So at end of this session students will be able to describe LED efficiency through optical power emitted here. So these are the examples we are going to uh, understand. Uh, first one is the radiative and non radiative recombination lifetime and second one is the optical power generated how much is there uh, power will be generated here. So we will switch over to the uh, example solving here. So as uh, for uh, solving this example here so just recall how much uh, p int that is uh, power internally is being generated here because we need to calculate this total carrier recombination of lifetime and power internally generated here okay so for that reason just recall the power internally generated here so power p int okay p int which is given by efficiency that is in into i of e into h of that is the energy of an each photon here so this can be written as i int into i of e instead of this you can write h c i into e of lambda here okay so that is the p int here and total recombination of lifetime that is the tau also we know that so the tau can be written as of delta n that is the total number of electrons that is being pushed from e1 to e2 state upon total recombination of time here so we can have 1 upon tau is equals to 1 upon tau r plus 1 upon tau nr here okay so these are the formula you need to understand here so now in this example what they have given the radiative and non radiative recombination of lifetime of a minority carriers in the active region of a double heterojunction led so it may use of a double heterojunctions only okay are 60 nanoseconds and 100 nanoseconds respectively so that is the radiative tr tau r is given 60 nanoseconds as tau nr is given 100 nanoseconds okay and they have tell you to calculate the total carrier recombination of a lifetime here okay that is the tau okay that is the tau we need to calculate and power internally generated we need to calculate tau as well as the p int here with the device when the peak emission wavelength is 0.87 microwave micrometer here that is the lambda is given as an 0.87 micrometer which is the drive current of 40 milliamperes that is the i is given as an 40 that is the current which is given as an 40 milliamperes here okay so now uh, by using this formula we know that the total uh, total recombination okay total carrier recombinations okay total uh, recombinations or lifetime is given by tau which is tau r into tau n r upon that is the tau r plus tau n r okay given by 60 into 100 60 into 100 upon 60 plus 100 okay so if you calculate this if you calculate this it comes to be 37.5 nanoseconds here tau will be total carrier recombinations will be 37.5 nanoseconds here okay so now uh, second part is remaining that is the power internally generated here so it is necessary to obtain the internal quantum efficiency for that internal quantum efficiency so internal quantum efficiency n of t that is n is given by tau upon tau r here okay so total tau is 37.5 nanoseconds upon that is the 60 nanoseconds here 
सो विच कम्स टू बैंड पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव टोटल इंटरनल क्वांटम एफिशिएंसी विच कम्स टू बैंड पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव हेयर पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव हेयर ओके सो नाउ फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन नाउ टोटल पावर इंटरनली कनेक्टेड दैट विल बी एन ऑफ टी दैट इज द एफिशिएंसी इन टू दैट इज एच सी आई अपॉन ई ऑफ लैमडा ई इन टू लैमडा हेयर पॉइंट इंटरनली वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड दैट इज पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स टू फाइव इन टू एच इज वॉट या प्लांट्स कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू सिक्स ओके इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस थर्टी फोर सी इज योर थ्री इन टू टेन रेस टू एट मीटर्स पर सेकेंड दैट इज द वेलासिटी ऑफ लाइट आई विच इज गिवन बाय फोर्टी मिली एम्पियर्स दैट इज इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री सो फोर्टी मिली एम्पियर्स इट इज गिवन सो इट विल बी फोर्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री मिली सेकेंड हेयर ओके अपॉन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज हाउ मच दैट इज दन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस नाइनटीन कोलम्स ओके ई दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड वैल्यू एंड द वेव लेंथ इज गिवन पॉइंट एटी सेवन माइक्रोमीटर्स दैट इज इन टू टेन रेस टू माइनस सिक्स इफ यू सॉल्व दिस होल इक्वेशन इट विल बी मिली वैट हेयर बिकॉज वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड टोटल इंटरनली पावर जनरेटेड हेयर टोटल इंटरनल पावर जनरेटेड दैट इज थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स मिली वैट हेयर सो द एल ई डी विच हैज द इंटरनल क्वांटम एफिशियंसी ऑफ सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंटेज दिस इज इंटरनल ऑफिशियंसी दैट इज एफिशियंसी सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंटेज जनरेट्स एंड थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स मिली वैट ऑप्टिकल पावर इंटरनली okay so this is the power okay so understand this this is the power level which will not be readily emitted from the emitted devices from the emitted from the devices here okay so this was the one example we have understood here so now we'll solve for the second example here okay that is the this example here okay second example which is given by this okay so the planar led is fabricated here now the planar led is fabricated as we have seen in the previous uh, video that is the uh, surface emitter we have taken here now the planar led is taken is fabricated from gallium arsenide which is uh, which has the refractive index of n that is 3.6 here refractive index is 3.6 here so here Uh, we need to calculate the two things that is the calculate the optical power emitted into the air as the percentage so calculate the power emitted into the air as the percentage of an internal optical power for the device when the transmission factor at a crystal interface is f which is given as 0.68 here 0.68 the transmission factor okay at the crystal air interface will be 0.68 here and second is what when the optical power generated internally is 50% okay when the power optical power generated internally is 50% of an electrical power supplied determine the external power efficiency so internally is what this is an cavity okay led generated so this has to be coupled here through the ofc that is optical fiber so it will be at the center maximum so this is known as an external efficiency and this is the internal efficiency to generate an led here so the output should be coupled in the maximum amount of light should be coupled into the ofc here that is the external efficiency and this is the internal efficiency here so for this uh, for the part a so what they have to optical power emitted into the air here so which is given by pe that is p int f into n square upon 4n square here x here okay so p int is not given here okay so we have to keep it in that manner only so we have to calculate the optical power into the air as a percentage here so that's why we need to calculate the percentage here so p int will be same transmission factor they have given that is the 0.68 into 1 square here because why we have taken 1 so 
just recall that this is the into the air so air n will be 1 here a n will be 1 so that's why it is taken as an 1 here okay upon 4 into 3.6 square here this is the refractive index of an gallium arsenide that is 3.6 here so if you calculate this it will be 0 0.013 p of int here so p e will be 0.013 p int here okay so the power emitted is only 1.3 percentage the power emitted will be 1.3 percentage of to optical power generated internally here okay so second b uh, is what when the optical power generated internally is 50 percent of the electrical power supplied here determine the electrical power efficiency now in terms of electrical power efficiency we need to calculate here that is given by nep is equals to because in the previous example we have seen this net that was in uh, quantum efficiency this is then electrical efficiency which is given by pe upon p into 100 so which is given by 0.13 p int upon p into 100 okay here p int what they have given optical power generated internally it is point uh, means 50 percent so it will be p int will be 0 0.5 of p so substitute this value into this equation what will come so it will be nep is equals to uh, 0.3 of p int upon 2 p int here 0.5 is 1 by half so it is 2 p int here okay into 100 so it comes to when 0 0.65 percentage here okay so this will be uh, determine the external power efficiency will be 65 percentage if you multiplied by 100 here okay so with this examples we can understand that total power generated internally quantum efficiency as well as the electrical efficiency here okay so these are the examples we have studied now these are my references used for this uh, video thank you